I think that President Putin's letter to the New York Times did not strike the right tone. Uh, most Americans who would read this would just get angry about it. I mean, there are some good points in there. He made some very logical points, but the tone was um, kind of condescending and also blatantly false. What he says about the use of chemical weapons in Syria, you know, nobody in the Western world thinks that it was the rebels who carried out these attacks. And surely Russia's own intelligence agencies know who did it. And to continue to insist that it, uh, that it was the rebels. I mean, the way he phrased it, he, didn't, he's, he said there's every reason to believe it was the rebels. There's no reason to believe it was the rebels. Uh, you said that uh, Syria could prove to be Iran's Vietnam. Could you, could you just flesh out what, what you mean by that? You know, Vietnam was uh, the quagmire that the United States got into and then couldn't get out of. It was uh, a huge loss of, uh, of troops, of money, it was, uh, and, and it was uh, tied to a government that was uh, undemocratic and uh, not supported by the majority of the people in Vietnam. And there's a very similar situation uh, for uh, Iran. Uh, I mean, as much of a problem as Syria is to Western countries, it's a huge problem for Iran. It's tied to it. It's uh, propping up the Assad regime with money that is increasingly scarce because of sanctions and with personnel. There are more and more uh, people coming back in coffins uh, from Syria. It's dividing the Iranian uh, people. Many Iranians realize the truth that uh, the chemical weapon attack on the 21st of August wasn't carried out by rebel forces. The government has responsibility. And so it's dividing uh, uh, Iran politically. It's a huge headache. It's affecting Iran's other foreign um, relations. And uh, the only way to get out of it, really, would be if Iran were to be involved in a diplomatic process uh, working toward a solution. Iran can actually be part of the solution to the Syrian problem.